Hi, this is Brian Forrester, and today we're exploring Uxmal in the Yucatan area of Mexico. And Uxmal is clearly a Mayan site, and this is the famous Pyramid of the Wizards. How it got its name, Pyramid of the Wizards, I have no idea, but it's a very impressive pyramidal structure, as you can see, constructed mainly of relatively small stones. And one of the intriguing things about the name Ushmal is that it means built three times. So built three times during the Mayan period, or could there be megalithic elements that the Maya discovered at this location and then decided to expand this complex? So that's what we're going to be looking at. For example, if you look at the stonework on the left-hand side, you can see it's very tight fitting as compared to the much cruder work above. So this is giving us an inkling that Ushmal may be much, much older than what standard history tells us. And here again in that doorway, you see very nicely cut blocks as compared to relative rubble with a mortar made of volcanic ash above. So the question is how could the Maya have cut these cube-like blocks when they basically had no metal tools? They had obsidian and they had jade as tools but no metals. Possibly a little bit of copper or maybe bronze but not steel and this is limestone, which is relatively soft, but it's actually something in the order of 100 million years old. This was originally formed under the ocean and was raised up over the course of time. And so it's actually a metamorphose type of limestone, making it much harder than standard limestone. And here again, you see some relatively large blocks at the bottom and smaller, rougher stone on top. This is something we've been looking at during this recent trip to Mexico. Again here, very nice cut blocks and then rubble used as fill in some places, but in other areas, very tight contact between the stones. And that's what we're looking at here again. Nicely cut blocks and relative rubble used as filler. This is one of the famous Mayan ball courts. And here again, we're going to see two stages of construction, or at least once again, you're seeing nicely cut blocks and then relative rubble. Clearly not from the same construction period. And once again here, finely cut blocks and then mortar and to some degree rubble used as filler. And look at the inferior work on the left. Now it is possible that it's just the outer casing stone, which is uh, this fine work, but this again shows very rough work as compared to very fine work. And usually the megalithic aspect is in the center of a location, such as at Machu Picchu and other locations in Peru. But here, the finest work is actually on the perimeter area. Here, somewhat uh, rough work. And as we approach this little building, you can see that it's been rebuilt, possibly during modern times, but the wall to the side, super tight fitting stonework with no mortar. So this is the contrast. This with mortar as compared to this. Mortar free, every block is actually individual shape and size, dimensions. And here again we're looking at that. 
no mortar in the construction whatsoever. So that's that building we were just looking at. There's the Pyramid of the Wizards in the background. And here, this very large structure is of much rougher construction than the building we were just looking at. And there, relative rubble on the, on, in the center right now. So that is what makes, for me, a lot of the ancient places in Mexico quite fascinating. Some famous, some not so famous, but at almost every location we visited, we saw very fine construction work and then relatively cruder construction work, usually the cruder work on top of the fine work. And so I think what the Maya are telling us is that they did find Uxmal as a megalithic construction, and then they rebuilt it and expanded it greatly. We also saw that in a site called Mitla in Oaxaca, and elements as well at Chichen Itza and Teotihuacan. So I think the history of Mexico is far more complicated and fascinating than what basic has, uh, history has told us. And finally, return, we return back to the Pyramid of the Wizards.